What's good, everybody? It's Jordan. I come back at y'all another video. So this video, I want to title this one, Imagine If. All right? Those two powerful words that can help shape your reality, that can help shape your future. And for me, those two words are generally the starting point for creation, right? It's usually the beginning of whenever I allow my mind and my imagination to run wild and those two words are just so powerful as far as creation and manifestation because when you use the words imagine if that's when you're able to see past the reality right to see past the information the facts that you have on your life and begin using your imagination your creativity to think of your future right to, to help mold your future to help think of a life that you would like to soon be able to enjoy and titling, titling this video imagine if just because this actually this idea stemmed from a conversation that i had a few days ago all right so of course like i told you guys i went on a 10-day trip to mexico went to three different destinations and you know recently i came back came back last week and um you know i was just catching up with some friends so this person i was speaking to um was a friend of a friend Right. So I guess you could say just like a mutual friend. Um, he's a cool guy and him. He's part of the military. Like he's a, he's Mexican from Texas and he's in the military. So he's basically right now he's stationed out in Germany. And um, we were just talking and I told him about my trip and, you know, he had a lot of questions about it because he's Mexican, but he um hadn't ha he's never had the opportunity to explore many parts of mexico like he's only got to explore the towns close to the border from from texas since you know he's been born and raised in texas um but he never got to go to the destination that i went to right for like mexico city puerto vallata guadalajara right he's never been so he had a lot of questions about that and i told him about my experience and and it was all great and it's funny because the conversation continued towards just vacation in general right he was asking me um you know what were all the different locations for vacation i've gone to you know throughout my life so i told him and then the discussion soon shifted to you know like dream destinations of where we want to travel to in the future right and at least with me i've never been to south america i've never been to europe never been to asia or africa right so those are of course at some point continents that i would like to see in the future um and you know, for him, he told me some destinations that he wanted to go to, but at least for immediate destinations, right, I would love to go to, I mean, I like going to warmer places because New York sometimes it gets cold, right? Like we actually experienced the four seasons here in New York. Um, so some destinations that I would like to go to in the future would be like Jamaica, Turks and Caicos. Um, I briefly went to the Bahamas, but it was only for like a day because I was on a cruise, so I would like to go there again, right? I want to go to like Aruba, you know, at some point, Colombia, Brazil, right? Like just that Caribbean general area um, just because I like the clear waters. I like warm weather. Um, it's only like a few hours away from New York, so it's pretty convenient to get to. So those are some places on top of like, you know, many other cities out in the United States that I, I want to explore, at least for like immediate destinations. Um, so it was funny because when I was having the discussion with him, I told him, you know, imagine if, and it always started with those two words, right? I told him, imagine if we were in a position where we could just travel wherever we wanted, whenever we wanted for however long we want it, right? And that, once I proposed that to him, that's when, you know, cause we were, we were um, speaking over the microphone cause we, we would play video games together. So we would just like chat over, you know, like the, the party chat in on Xbox. Um, and so when I mentioned that to him, that's when I can immediately hear in his voice, like his his eyes lit up and, and you can tell just the excitement and the joy like overcame him. And he agreed with me. He was like, yeah, man, like that would be amazing. And in that moment, it just felt like we were dream building. And I, I knew what I was doing, right? Because I'm just, I'm more aware of it now, a lot more aware of it now because, you know, I 
study this this information all the time and you know it's now part of me and i'm just much more aware of it and of course many times i do it on purpose but it was great to pop that question because then i knew that that lit a flame within him it, it his desire sprung up because he was so excited to agree with me and, and talk about that, right? And I remember just mentioning to him, you know, imagine if we could be in a position where, let's just say, we just wake up on a random Tuesday, we start browsing the internet and we start seeing beautiful beaches in Brazil and like amazing food in Brazil and just seeing the different activities or randomly it's, um uh what is it called it's like the um like the festival that that brazil does I'm, I'm blanking on it but um oh carnaval right so or like it'll be that season for brazil and let's just say we see it online and it looks like so much fun imagine we were in a position where we could say look at each other right be like yo screw it. you want to go to brazil tomorrow like like let's just book the flights and then you just book the flights and you know, get the, whether there's an Airbnb hotel, you book that and like, don't even think twice about it. Don't worry about anything else. Just being able to say, do you want to go? Yes. And then being able to go. And just the thought of that for most people sound so far sounds, well, for a lot of people that sounds impossible, right? But for so many other folks, it just sounds so far from where they're at. And I completely understand that, but that still doesn't take away from the joy and excitement that the idea brings. And that should be a sign that that's what you want to do. And at some point, how you want to live, because to me, that's a sign of freedom. That's a sign of abundance. And I would like to think most, if not all people would love to be in a position like that, where if they want to travel somewhere, that they would love to have the freedom to just be able to do so whenever they want to do so, right? Not have to tell anyone, hey, I'm taking vacation days off or having to plan things like that or having to, you know, if you're on vacation days, take sick days or just be being, having to be complicated with all those variables, right? Like I'm, I'm sure most people, if not everyone would love to be in a position where they have absolute freedom of, you know, freedom to travel, financial freedom to be able to go wherever you want like just imagine being able to do that right looking somewhere online looking at even just the other day someone i i think it was the same the same person he told me you know that you got to go to the philippines one day and so when he said that i stopped and i thought about it and i said wow like that would be quite the adventure that would be so much fun to go to the philippines because i've seen some videos about it some towns and markets where they sell street food and the street food looks absolutely amazing and the philippines of course it's an asian country but i understand that it's heavily influenced with the spaniards i believe like the spaniards used to be like um had ties with philippines so that, that's why like a lot of people in the philippines also speak spanish right so it would be a place where i would still be comfortable at, right because i could still be able to navigate but it'll also be a completely different culture and experience right so when he said that i began also like dream building and just thinking like yo that would be also amazing to do right so the reason why i tell you guys all this is because i feel like a lot of times when it comes to dream building when it comes to essentially tapping into new energy or trying to create your future, create your life, a lot of times it begins with the two words and that's imagine if. And when you say imagine if, that's when you literally let your mind and your creativity run wild, right? You begin seeing, creating a world that may not exist right now or like may not be anywhere remotely close to all the details and evidence and facts that you have of your life but that you understand it's a possibility because there are people like that who are living their lives like that, who have the freedom to do that. So it is all possible, no matter how far it may seem, it is all possible. And I do that all the time, right? If it's anything I desire, right? I'll sometimes stop and I'll say, you know what? Imagine if, 
imagine if this, imagine if that. And it just brings you so much joy and happiness because you're you're allowing yourself to dream. You're basically saying it's okay to not look at what I have going on and it's okay to think about what's actually possible regardless of the set of circumstances, right? Sometimes, and, and I like doing this too, whenever I go to like, for example, like Times Square, like in Manhattan, I feel like a tourist whenever I go to Manhattan because I've never lived in Manhattan. And so it's like, I feel like every time I go there, it feels like I'm there for an adventure. And a lot of times I'm there in downtown and downtown Manhattan, super fast paced, a lot of taxi cars, a lot of people, right? It's just, New Yorkers are busy. There's just a lot of stuff going on. There's always something to do in, in, in New York, right? Especially Manhattan. And um, sometimes I walk through Manhattan, I see these large skyscrapers and it's hard not to dream build when you're there because you just see all these big buildings and you know that someone or some company owns each and every one of these buildings. Each and every one of these skyscrapers you're seeing, right? These office buildings, these large luxury apartments, all these things that someone or some entity, your company, corporation, whatever, that someone owns each and every one of these buildings. It's like every time I look up when I'm there, I always ask myself, imagine if, right? Imagine if I own one of these buildings. Look at the Empire State Building. It's like, imagine if, imagine if I own that. Luxury, luxury buildings that you walk by or like you see photos of. Even on the internet, right? I watch videos of just like really nice homes and I ask myself, you know what, like, Imagine if I own that and you just, you can't help but to smile because then you begin thinking about it. You begin thinking about the possibility of it actually being, of it actually happening. And that gives you hope, right? That gives you hope of a better life. It, it lights the fire within you that it's possible that there's, that there's more to life that you can own and operate, that you can have, right? than what you may see and you begin to build confidence and also allow yourself to feel worthy that it's possible because you're already thinking it's possible, right? You're, you're stepping into the position where you are the one in charge, you are the owner. And to me, that, that brings a lot of excitement and joy and using imagine if you can apply that into your life, right? with with anything right you could use imagine if to then think about what it is that you want whether it's finances whether it's where you're living at whether it's traveling whether it's health whether it's relationships right just using the two words imagine if can take you so far and it can help put you in a better spot it can help raise your vibration that can help make you feel better and get you excited for the future and what's to come because there's so much to life that's actually possible. And a lot of times we're the ones that are limiting ourselves and blocking our own blessings when all we have to do is to just get excited for what's out there, get excited for what we want. And in that excitement, in that joy, in that gratitude is when we're actually able to make space for all of our blessings to begin flowing into our life. So this is just a brief video. Just remind you guys of the power of those two simple words, right? Imagine if, because that's the beginning of dream building. That's the beginning of it all, of letting your mind and your imagination and your creativity run wild to help create the life that you've always wanted and the life that you've always dreamed of. So I'll see you again, it's Jamal, and I'm out. See you guys for the next video.